Hello, Zero K okay fans, and welcome to another exhibition match. This is Shadow 33, bringing you a match between Flipstep and Coin Coin Power on the map Terra. Now, this map is one that I actually haven't really seen much before. It's a fairly large map, lots of metal. It looks like it was designed for team games, but we're seeing a 1v1 on it. And yeah, it's definitely designed for team games. Just the amount of mechs is here, especially these five metal income spots, in the, or five and a half metal income spots in the middle, which both players. Or, sorry, Coin Coin Power is very quickly going towards. Flipstep is not going towards it at all. He's instead building it further in the back. And I think Coin Coin Power really has the best idea here. Getting this metal extractor early, which will basically let him stabilize immediately. I mean, he has enough he has enough metal now almost to run this factory on its own. Going for spiders, while Flipstep is going for shield bots. Getting a couple bandits in and about to raid a bit. And they are doing... Well, they're going in the wrong direction right now. Given the shallows in this map, however, the shallows in the map, they don't look like they're particularly in the way, and no, they are not. The bots have no problem with them, but it looks like Flipstep is a bit more concerned about making sure that his units don't end up going too far away and not being able to protect him. I guess he's more concerned about being attacked than he is about figuring out what Coin Coin Power is up to, which is really the bad idea, because a big weakness of Coin Coin Power's current strategy is he's very quickly going to get everything... Well, I should say, he's he can get everything taken away from him very quickly. If a couple bandits come in here to take out this metal extractor, it's no stronger than any other metal extractor. It just happens to be extracting a lot of metal. Right now, it should be up to about six or so, just from the overdrive. And that's Coin Coin Power's entire economy right now, is this one metal extractor. However, Flipstep is still a bit behind as far as his own economy goes. Only has a couple metal extractors. Getting a third right now. Getting his main... Five and a half metal income metal extractor, but right, he had quite a bit of time. He could have harassed that if he had moved his bandits forward. As it stands, he was going around the back. Not actually, not bad idea going around the back because he probably figured that's where Coin Coin Power had set up. But this is the big juicy target, so that's where you'd really want to check out first, if nothing else. The other bandit going up from the front, and looks like it is not taking a direct path. It is slowly but surely staying in the middle of the map. Slowly but surely doing nothing. It's not even a matter of slowly anymore, it's completely inert. And the one in the back, not finding anything as there is nothing to find. Coin Coin Power continuing to build himself up. I believe he has... Does he have radar at this point? He doesn't have radar at this point, which means he is going to be completely able to see what's going on. While on the other hand, we see that Flipstep built radar a long time ago. However, as it stands, Flipstep does not see what Coin Coin Power is up to, right? He has no idea what's going on there. His radar isn't even in range. All he sees is these fleas coming along the side of his border, and that's not a whole lot of information. Really, at this point, he just sees a bunch of blue dots. At this stage in the game, or three minutes into the game, there's nothing at all unusual about having you know, a dozen units running around the map like this. Nothing at all unusual about it. So, he's not likely to notice what's going on, that these fleas are basically setting up just to make sure nothing's going on in the back, and to harass what he can, which is going to be quite a lot, actually. There's nothing defending the back here. There's a bandit, but these fleas might be able to get around and deal with it. Doesn't look like they're particularly eager to do so. Coin Coin Power continuing to build up slightly, not expanding very much. In that regard, I'd say Flipstep is actually getting a bit ahead. His economy is, even with Coin Coin Power's but he is less reliant on that single metal extractor. At this point, Coin Coin Power has that one extractor. That's that's it. He's got that? Well, these two metal extractors, I should say. But this one is his main one. Right now, it's... Sheesh. It is harvesting well, 6.5 metal with the overdrive. Which is pretty good. Neither player, however, like I said, doing a lot to scare each other out. At this point, we... We do see the defense is starting to overlap. Flipstep getting a couple defenders up and does have radar in range. He finally is able to see what's going on with Coin Coin Power. Or at least able to see where his base is and that he has some stuff here. Still has not sent anything in to attack it. He does... Oh no, never mind. There we go. Bandit is being sent in to attack. However, it's... It's got a very short period of time. It's about 30 seconds before this turret is up. And if it can get in the metal extractor... Before the Venom gets to it, which it can't, the Venom has paralyzed it. That is a very, very anticlimactic end for that bandit. The right idea, but there needed to be more bandits. And a bit more careful micromanagement away from that Venom. And now the laser turret is up and there's not much that can be done. 
because that's what I meant. There was not very much time. However, neither player really focusing on harassment. At this point, I, Coin Coin Power really should be moving these fleas in, at least moving them around to get a good idea of what's going on, because Coin Coin Power has no idea what's going on in the back here. He is finally moving these fleas into map pack position, but that is... That is a minute too late. Actually, a couple minutes too late. Really should have been doing that when he first moved these fleas in here. Just see what's going on, but right now... He's wasting a lot of me. He is distracting the defenses somewhat, but he's not capitalizing on this too much. One of the fleas moving in to attack a defender, but the defender has just about reloaded. It will be able to get rid of the flea. Oh, just did. The other flea in a good map hack position, but not, not a whole lot has been gained from that attack. Way too much was built in the meantime. Too many defenses. At the time the fleas were there, these metal extractors are completely undefended. There was no defenses covering the flank. It would have been an easy shot, but Coin Coin Power waited a bit too long, and paid for it by losing all of his fleas. That being said, fleas are of course so cheap it almost doesn't matter. But that would have been a nice raid regardless. Fleas may be cheap, but metal extractors aren't as cheap and getting rid of your opponent's metal economy is priceless if done at the right time. So at this point, Flipstep has a major economic advantage. Six metal income over Coin Coin Power. He can build up another factory or get... Well, he's getting a caretaker. I was going to say the other option is to get a caretaker to double his factory production speed. And that's exactly what he's doing, which is the Actually, pretty good option, I'd say. Shields do have a nice, well, natural advantage against spiders. Spiders, as I mentioned in the last game that they showed up, are not particularly strong in a straightforward fight. If they can ambush, if they know what's coming, get their venoms in position, and have, in this case, hermits. Hermits are recluses. Hermits being the main assault unit, recluses being an artillery rocket unit. Either way, if they can get the venoms in place to stop any counterattack, and then just tear them apart with the rest of their conventional units, then the spiders do really well. Pulling that off, however, is not the easiest thing to do, especially against a large army in a straight-up fight. Which is, of course, why spiders want to deal with hills and make sure that they're in a good position, and they pick their battles very carefully. However, this battle looks like it's going in Flipstep's favor. They're, the Venoms are actually doing a fair amount to stop the bandits. The bandits are trying to get out of the way, avoiding somewhat getting paralyzed, getting emp but even then... And there aren't enough to distract all the Venoms. One of the Venoms is going to be going down thanks to this Rogue here, but the other Venom able to completely stop an Outlaw coming in and basically able to chase away the rest of the Bandits. So not a whole lot has been lost for Coin Coin Power, as well as Morphing Commander. Actually, Commander level 2. Nothing too important there. He does have Slow, but no Energy Cell or any other particularly important modules. Just basically setting up for a Slow Attack Commander. As for... For Flipstep, his commander is... Well, it's dead. It had an energy cell in the beam laser, which is pretty conventional, but it is now dead, so it's completely irrelevant. There's no way for it to be resurrected. It's basically just reclaim fodder now. You can go in, eat it, get metal. That's all he can do. Coin Coin Power, however, upgrading his commander quite a lot. And at this point, Flipstep has 30 metal. He's excessing. He's excessing greatly. He needs to get another factory. Possibly a caretaker, but at this point, I... Wouldn't say it's a bad idea to get an air factory or... No, definitely, well, actually, air would be a bit tricky. Defenders are not bad anti-air. However, there aren't a whole lot of defenders, and one nice napalm strike would take care of all this power infrastructure. Alternately, he could go for... Well, on this map, sheesh. I mean, actually, on this map, I would say another caretaker wouldn't be a terrible idea. The only other factory thing would be cloaky bots, and frankly... Their advantage is speed, which is a good advantage. This map is fairly large, but even then, it's not a whole lot to write home about. However, the bandits are doing a fine enough job, which is why I'm saying, might as well just stick to shields. Vehicles would be tricky to pull off. I don't think they can get through the shallows. I think the slopes might be a bit too, too, too steep for them. If not, then tanks may be an idea. But I think at this point, it would be best just to stick with shields. Possibly get cloaky, but... Caretakers, or he is going for workers. Not a bad idea to get rid of this excessing metal. And Coin Coin Power, on the other hand, is... He must be reclaiming a lot. I don't think he has... Yes, he is reclaiming about 10 metal worth of metal. Where is he that reclaim come from? Ah, I see. He's getting it from stuff that's been destroyed. Mostly... Mostly Flipstep's units. Flipstep has been feeding him metal, which is... Always want to be careful about when you're attacking. You don't want to suicide attack too much in this game, because your opponent can just reclaim your units, and that gets them an advantage. As mentioned before, Coin Coin Power was at a disadvantage economically, but at this point, he's evening out and, in fact, at an advantage. It's a temporary advantage thanks to Reclaim, but it's still something he can work off of for quite some time and use that to get more units and 
get more territory from there. He also has a nice little radar tower set up right next to Flipstip's base, so he knows exactly what Flipstip is up to. He sees everything going on there. Flipstip trying to get to it, but it's not a nice big hill. It's rather difficult for him to get to that. But it doesn't much matter. The rogue able to get rid of it at range, get rid of the defender at range, and the radar tower will fall quite soon after. At the same time, Convict trying to get what it can, probably trying to get what it can from Reclaim, forced out. But we see Flipstep is taking out a lot of the map. He is taking control of his half of the map, taking a lot of metal, and not building a lot more caretakers. He actually is continuing to excess greatly. He's only using half of his metal. Or, no, he is actually using a bit more now. He is finally building up a geothermal plant. Not a bad idea. It gets him a lot of power, but does not get him a whole lot of units immediately. And right now, I think it really would be the best idea for him to build many more units. That's been his main weakness this game. He's had an economic advantage the entire game, but he's not used it as well as he could have. He really hasn't. And that's quite annoying to watch because he's, he's had an economic advantage of at least six metal the entire game. Enough to easily get another caretaker and... From there, he'd be able to build basically double his army size at this point from what he has. Against spiders, though, it's kind of tricky. You'd want bandits. Actually, gla glaives wouldn't be a bad idea, really. Just a second factor to get cloaky bots just for the glaives. Because that speed would give him a pretty big advantage in taking out all his units. Admittedly, the venoms are still an issue. But rogues could take care of that. I mean, he does have a fair number of those, and they... Now they could take care of it. It's not the best option. The best option is escaping me at the moment. Though this was a cloaky bot factory, you get ticks, and then you just tick out the venoms, and then from there you destroy them from there. Unfortunately, also poor micromanagement, moving that rogue right into position to that laser to be destroyed. At this point, Flipstep really doesn't have a whole lot going for him. He's other than economy, and he is not making the most of that at all. Coin Coin Power, on the other hand, actually not building anything. He is accessing metal wildly, building a few more weavers, but really all that's going to do is get him more reclaim, which isn't going to help. He needs to spend that money. So both players not spending as money as well as they could be. Now, surprisingly, neither player trying to reclaim his commander here. It's very surprising. Coin Coin Power moving into position. Has a fully upgraded commander and very focused on slow disruption. Looks like he's going to go for just a commando attack with that commander. While his spiders try to take the middle of the map, I mean, the middle of the map is no man's land. Nothing's really been taken of the south side of the map until just now. Weaver's coming along the south side of the map for coin coin power to take those metal extractors. And Flipstep getting some, getting an Aegis, not a bad idea. Actually, which reminds me, a really good idea at this point would probably just be to go with felons and Aegises. He has enough money to afford a large group of them and thugs for support. Felons are a great riot unit. They are... Well, listen to the skirmisher, but they attack so quickly they can work as a riot unit. However, they require fully charged shields to attack well, which is why you want the Aegises and Thugs work well for that as well, because Thugs are shielded units, assault units, so they provide nice support in case the Felon starts to run out of firepower. The Thugs can at least continue to attack. On the other hand, Thugs, I believe, require shield power in order to deal damage, so it's a bit of a trade-off, because they'd be there as someone to support, but they'd also not be able to do too much on their own. On the other hand, they just throw a bunch of convicts in the mix, and they do have small shields. They're able to deal with that somewhat. It's just not necessarily the best idea in all cases. Our felons are coming in and proving their worth against these fleas, which is not saying much, since everything destroys fleas without issue. The real test would be against the felons, but he, or sorry, the felons, the, sorry, the venoms. Taking out the venoms would be the big thing to do with that felon, and... That is going to be something he's not doing right now. In fact, it doesn't look like it's something he's going to do at all. There are no Venoms coming up from here. There are a bunch of Fleas and an Athena. We have not seen this before. Athenas are basically a mobile factory to an extent. They build units. They have a large selection of units to build. And all these units are built just on the fly. Like, like a factory except out in the open. Which is much like a factory. The only difference being that Athenas can build anywhere on the map and are completely cloaked. The units are just able to build up. Alright, a couple roaches coming in for damage. Not really doing too much. Getting rid of some fleas, but nothing huge. They probably wanted to get rid of the commander. And that would have been a really nice shot. But unfortunately, the commander moved away. So that was not something he could actually deal with. Coin Coin Power doing a great job taking advantage of the hills. I should have pointed that out before, and I did to an extent. But 
Spiders rely on hills a lot, and a map like Terra actually isn't that great for hills. You can't really have to force your opponent into the valleys in order to take out what you can. Going about getting rid of the geothermal plant, able to get rid of some of the economy also around here, but the real story is the energy economy loss. However, Flipstep has such a healthy energy economy right now. He has 93 energy. Even without the geothermal plant, he is fine. And some more forces trying to come in for Flipstep to get rid of that Venom. Not the best option. Really should be sending that Felon in. Like I said, mass-produced felons just push them out, but he's not doing so. He does have the caretakers, however, to spend his metal, which is good to see. So he's definitely spending all that metal, but it's still not enough. Outlaws trying to do what they can. Not able to do enough. Between the crab here, massive... Okay, at this point, if, you have, if your opponent has a crab of spiders, you've been doing something wrong, because the crab is the unit any spider player wants to get. As you can see, very powerful long-range artillery unit. Great in combat gets basically triple health when not moving, which is right now. And it's extremely expensive. If your opponent's able to afford those, you haven't quite lost the game, but you really need to step it up, because you are on the verge of it. It's going to be difficult to get through that, unless they were building it too soon. But at this point, it's 16 minutes into the game, There and Coin Point Power has 36 metal coming in. He can easily afford this. This is not an issue. However, he does have a fusion plan here. This is where... Actually, it's very difficult to get into. I'd almost say this is where Glaze would be very useful. Sorry, Glaze. Where Size would be very useful. Which I want to call Glaze because they wield Glaze, but... Size would be extremely useful to get rid of this fusion reactor. Not that Flipstep appears to be aware of it right now. He is sending that over to the Felon in, Doing a decent job. Trying to do what he can. Not enough Aegis to support it, however. Should have built more. Hey, felons really need a lot of support. Possibly just build more Felons, really. They build a handful more felons and a bunch more, and some convicts as well would be helpful, but more agents and felons would do wonders for that, but unfortunately he did not do so. No Man's Land being a rather dead area, as the name suggests, although it looks like Flipstep is trying to do what he can to take at least the reclaim from it. Reclaiming his commander completely, getting quite a bit of metal from that as well. He doesn't have, actually he is spending a lot of his metal out, so he is using the metal he has. Building a ton of shield units, not building any more factories. As I mentioned before, on this map and this matchup, I don't know if I'd recommend that, other than maybe the Cloaky Box factory for some specialist units. Against spiders, like I said before, most factories are able to deal with them pretty well. The main weakness is the hills. And air would be a good idea, except for the fact that defenders are set up everywhere. Though there aren't... Actually, there aren't that many defenders, come to think of it. A lot of them have been destroyed, so air would now pay off. Actually, pay off extremely well. In fact, I think it would be a good idea for... Coin coin, well, for Flips to go for air, because Coin Coin Power has not defended himself against air well enough. He must have been suspecting it from sooner. And, wouldn't you know it, Flipstep is well ahead of me already, getting a Napalm Bomber out to get rid of some of the forces coming from behind, but he really needs to just attack this base. There aren't enough anti-air defenses for it to matter, and he could probably, he could waste a Napalm Bomber here. It's not going to make that much of a difference at this stage in the game, but getting rid of this fusion plant, having that blow up would annihilate this factory, annihilate this big metal extractor, not that at this point in the, stage, in the game it matters, this stage in the game, but Still, it would be a massive, extremely powerful attack. Also, sending some bandits around the back. That appears to be what he's doing now, but he should have been doing that a while ago. Because these bandit, these metal extractors are completely undefended. Bandits coming in here would tear them to shreds. And all the units focus on the front line, especially the crabs. And that is essentially everything that's been built so far. The one weakness I mentioned before about crabs is when they're... When they are still, they have basically 12,000 health. When they're moving, they have 4,000, which sounds like a lot, but really isn't when facing an army, given their cost. So, it, you want them to be stationary. If they're not stationary, you're in trouble. And these crabs are now stationary, but they weren't necessarily, and if they were to try to deal with harassment, they would not be stationary. They'd be moving quite a lot. These bandits really need to... They need to harass. That's all you can do. Coin Power is still at economic disadvantage, but if that could be put up to the point where it's... A complete loss. There's nothing that Kunkun Power can do. Celebra coming in here, taking out the crabs. Well, trying to take out the crabs. So the crabs have enough health that the Stiletto's EMP attack does not do enough. Getting one of the Venoms to be completely stunned, but not really doing too much against the crab. So, that was a waste. The whole point of Stiletto's is to, well, EMP a large group of units, but also EMPing large heavy units like this. Tick might have been a better option if you got the Cloakybot Factory which I really think he should have early on in the game. At least, like I said, just for some specialist units, just for like having size to deal with some of these factories, like four or five size just to take out one of these factories, or have some glaives just to use their speed to harass but better than bandits. 
But even then, he's not using the bandits to harass, so that's a moot point. And also not using the napalm bombers to attack directly, using the stilettos to attack the front line, but the crabs are coming in. Their weakness of movement not really mattering. Enough crabs have been built, and Flipstip is starting to lose his economic advantage. One of the crabs being stunned, but the rest of them able to take out all these power plants, getting rid of the metal extractor as well, the big five metal extractor. At this point, makes no difference, but that's still something that I'm sure Flipstip would rather have had. Given that Flipstip is using all of his money right now, he is, as you can see here, he is, well, not quite using all his money, but definitely very low. He needs all the income he can get. Well, Coin Coin Power, despite being two-thirds of disadvantage, except for Reclaim, which he's taking full advantage of, he's doing extremely well. These crabs are doing a great job, and the Shield Bot Factory has not been fully taken advantage of. Well, actually, I suppose it has been mostly taken advantage of. Shield Bots don't have the same amount of, of single raw utility power that Spiders have. Spiders and Jump Bots both have super powerful salt unit, the sumo and the crab, or sorry, crab and sumo respectively, that you need to get to. It takes a lot of effort to get to, but when you do, it's, as you can see, quite worth it. Shield bots don't have any such thing. They're more focused on groups. They're more focused on synergy with having lots of shields in play. And Flipstep has not been playing it that way. He's been trying to send in single units. He hasn't really sent in a lot of harassment. Now, just now moving back to harass a bit, getting the strongest metal extractors other than a couple Otherwise, not really using them especially well. Strategic Bomber dealing some damage, but against a stationary crab, not especially useful. Granted, Strategic Bombers have a hard time dealing with that anyway, but still a bit of an issue. Strategic Bombers are meant to deal with single targets, and they don't do especially well against moving targets. They can hit moving targets, definitely. They just don't do especially well against them, and the crabs are not going to be moving anytime soon. They don't need to. It's... This is going extreme level coin coin power he's made spiders pay off because like i said before there's a risky early point in the game where spiders can easily fall to anything but flipstep never really took advantage of that and at this point coin coin power has been able to take advantage of being left alone completely so many crabs so many crabs for coin coin power he is making it very clear how powerful this unit can be and how powerful a spider factory can be when it's left alone. At this point, they're just coming out and coming out, and even some tarantulas coming out for anti-air support. But really, the crabs are the main story. Moving into the main base, there are some Racketeers, anti-air units, well, actually, siege EMP units, doing what they can, but really not doing enough. These crabs will take care of them in one shot, pretty much each. Or very close to. And not a whole lot here to follow up in the EMP. And even now, if the economic damage was dealt that was never dealt never looks like it will be dealt it wouldn't do anything it looks like flipstep is on his last legs no real way to getting rid of these crabs the emp bombers doing what they can but really not enough roach is not able to get in and deal the damage they'd like to bandits one at a time are going to do nothing for this Sure amount of damage that the crabs are dealing and it looks like shield factory is about to be destroyed the air factory has been destroyed and no other factories are in place Coin Coin Power's commander doing a lot from behind. Strategic Bomber doing what it can, but at this point, it really doesn't matter. Stiletto getting shot out of the air by Coin Coin Power's jumping commander. Nothing can really take him out right now. Coin Coin Power has won this game. Judicious use of defenses and mostly just not being attacked. I mean, the Venoms did a really good job, but there was no harassment, no going around the sides, no early harassment either from Flipstep. That easily would have changed this game. Spiders do not hold up well against early harassment. Not easily, at least. They can, but it takes a lot of effort to do. But at this point, it makes no difference. Coin Coin Power finishing off all Flipstip's economy, getting rid of his last fusion reactor. There's still some wind farms and metal extractors around the map, but basically, there's not much left. A light vehicle factory being built by Flipstip, but at this point, there's not much he can really do. Maybe he wants to get a Merle or a couple Ravagers? I mean, tanks would work fairly well in terms of having a single powerful assault unit, but at this point, single powerful assault unit isn't what he needs so much. It, he needs a way of breaking out these crabs, and all he can really do is have them on the wrong side of the map, which they would be. If you attack directly the main base, the crabs are on the wrong side of the map, and they aren't being built up, but there's enough units being built in the main base, it doesn't matter. If the fusion reactor can be destroyed, that's about it. That would stop this. That would stem the tide of new units.
all the factories would be destroyed, but that's not likely to happen. The only plausible way that would happen is by glaives, and glaives aren't coming up. No Cloakybot factory, no real other stealth units. Roaches aren't coming up, they aren't cloaked anyway, so they couldn't easily get back in there to deal the damage they need. Napalm Bomber taking out another 5 metal extractor that that Flipstep had acquired. Coin Coin Power is basically just cleaning up. Now, of course, the size of the map means it's going to take a little while for him to clean up. To speed this up a bit because this is going to take a while to clean up. Bit of a foregone conclusion. I'm curious how this is going to pan out. Ravagers are being built by the Light Vehicle Factory, but really, there isn't a whole lot that Coin Coin Power can do right now. All it can really do is sit here and hope that. Well, sorry. Not a whole lot that Coin Coin Power can do to lose. Flipstep can't really do much to win either, and he does have some anti air being built up, anti air vehicles, but the Napalm Bomber is just cleaning up, and that is it. Flipstep seems to be making a comment about the commander being level 5, calling it a troll comm. I would not call that a troll comm. That was that was a well-deserved assault commander. That that was allowed to build up, and it built up well. It, there was no damage in the main base, so really, it worked out. And some damage being dealt to this Ravager coming in here. It's doing what it can. I might be able to get rid of the Caretaker. Able to get rid of the Caretaker. Not enough, though. This fusion reactor is the key target. If that can be destroyed, which it very clearly cannot. But if that had been destroyed earlier, that would have been... Uh, this would have been a very different game. There would have been no new spider units, maybe one or two crabs instead of half a dozen, all of which are moving back into position, which means Coin Coin Power wins the game officially! Flipstep has surrendered! So if you enjoyed that, I will be back shortly with another game. Stay tuned, everybody.